This is the Voice of America. Hi, I'm Jack Dominic, and I have another story from Bethany Station. When visitors come to the museum, they often ask why this location was chosen for the VOA transmitters. It's a hilltop. Back then, it was a very rural hilltop just north of Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, I often note that the answer can be found in three words, Powell, Crosley, Jr. Crosley and his engineers were already broadcasting via short wave to Europe in the early 1940s, and he had already constructed the most powerful commercial radio station, WLW. The 500,000-watt station reached listeners from the Atlantic Ocean to the Rocky Mountains and well beyond. So the government's commissioning of Crosley to build and operate the behemoth transmitters required by the VOA was a bit of a no-brainer. When you come to the museum, you'll notice that we have an extensive display of Crosley products and innovations. His products and patents cover the gamut from the mundane to the quirky. There was the Shelvador, the first refrigerator with shelves in the door, and the Exervac. This was a contraption that was marketed to remedy baldness. One of these products sold thousands. One did not. I'll let you figure out which one was the success. His interest in radio was not his first love. That was, of course, the design and manufacturing of automobiles. This fascination proved to be a source of frustration for most of his life, as his cars, while innovative, never garnered mass appeal. His broadcast empire and his introduction of the first radio priced under 10 bucks gained him the moniker, the Henry Ford of radio. From building airplanes and owning airlines to manufacturing the top secret proximity fuse, the latter a major contribution to ending World War II, the exhibits at the museum chronicle Crosley's keen mind, marketing savvy, and his ever-present curiosity. We hope to see you soon at the museum. If you have a question or a suggestion on a future video, you can send that to me via our website, voamuseum.org. And all of our videos in this series can be viewed at that same website. Well, I'll be back soon with another story from Bethany Station. Find the music.